Hi, we're out here on Customs, so please bear with any gunfire you hear in the background. And today, we're going to be examining the Malo VP-0209 and caliber 366 TKM. Now, to the untrained eye, it looks, looks just like a regular AK platform, and for the most part it is. It uses the same stock, same forearm, same mount, same magazine, same accessories like this RP-1 charging handle made by Zeneco. But, it is 366 TKM. Now, what is 366 exactly? Well, as a way to get around Russian gun laws, it is essentially a shotgun. It is smooth board, and the cartridge, though metallic, acts more like a shotgun. You can get different shot, or in this case, just straight up 366 caliber bullets. So how does that compare to a regular rifle 7.62x39? Let's find out. So in the interest of entertainment and brevity, we're going to chase him down this Illusion IL-76, which as you can see, just dropped a care package. We also use this opportunity to look for our preferred target, the scav target, which consists of two layers of outerwear clothing, one layer of human pectoral, one layer of rib, one layer of human lung tissue to simulate lung tissue, one layer of rear human ribs, one layer of dorsal tissue, two more layers of outerwear, and all followed up by the new and improved high-tech Tarkov bullet stop. Let's go hunting. So on the way to the airdrop, we've encountered some scavs. It's a perfect opportunity to test out our 366 TKM full metal jacket ammunition out of this VPO 209 against some real world targets. Let's find out. Hey, what? Hey, what? Ah! I'm gonna push left side. Push right. He's Hunt down the other one. Right in front of us, right in front of us. Oh, there's two. There's two. Yeah, I'm off to your left right here. I'm hearing a lot of shots over from where we came from. Suppressed. You hit him in the leg, he's free. So, how do we do? Well, this gentleman here was dispatched in two rounds on contact. One hit him in the leg, and the other was a headshot. It took effectively more than half a magazine to dispatch the two targets, but as far as actual hits, it was two for this gentleman, one leg and one head, and three torso hits on the other one. Now, this one was not wearing any armor, not that it would have made a difference. The other one was wearing a PAKA, which, as we know, is a level two soft armor based on the Russian ballistic standards. So... That stands up a little better to pistol rounds than rifle rounds, but still seem to have a positive effect even against this full metal jacket ammunition, taking more rounds than expected to drop it. So now we've been presented with the chance to test the uh, long range effectiveness of this cartridge. Around this corner for me there is a sniper scav, most likely armed with a caliber 762 by 54 rimmed bolt action rifle of some type, be it a Mosin a gun or SV-98. Now I've got my caliber 366 VP-0209 AKM smoothboard. Let's see how it does. Hi, we're out here on Factory for bonus content based on the uh, untimely deaths of some cameramen and crew. So, we're going to do this in one run, so you're going to have to put up with my speech impediments and Shatner esque pauses. But we're going to test 366 TKM on the Factory in a close quarter setting. Let's see how it goes. So as you can see, based on the change of location, it did not go well for us on the factory floor. And based on my apparel, we have ran out of the Patreon money for this month and have resorted to scav runs to make ends meet. Terribly sorry about that. But to recap, what did we learn? Well, 366 TKM out of the VP-0209 is not terribly ineffective, especially against scavs at close range. It can hold its own at medium range, even against sniper scavs with an elevation advantage. Against... PMCs though, and especially SMG chads with 46 by 30 millimeter in close quarters, you're not going to have a chance. So, as always, don't try us at home, I want you to call a professional, and thanks for watching the VPO 209 366 DKM review.